Britain's tabloid phone hacking scandal has reached the highest levels of the British government. Today, Prime Minister David Cameron addressed an emergency session of Parliament on the crisis. Even as Americans find out, they are just as vulnerable to phone hackers. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Elizabeth Palmer in London. Liz, good evening. Good evening. Prime Minister David Cameron's links to the powerful Murdoch clan had become so politically dangerous that he cut short an official visit to Africa and rushed home to limit the damage. At a rowdy emergency session of Parliament... Order! Order! Prime Minister David Cameron was on the defensive, undermined by what appears to many to be a toxically close relationship with Rupert Murdoch and his now disgraced executive team. You live and you learn, and believe you me, I have learnt. He batted away question after question especially about his decision to hire an ex-Murdoch editor since arrested in the phone hacking scandal as his communications chief. If it turns out I've been lied to, that would be a moment for a profound apology. A recent poll shows 60% of Britons think Murdoch, through his powerful newspaper group, has far too much influence in British politics. Influence Cameron says he's always been open about. And what I've set out is not just meetings, if you like, that are business meetings, official meetings with media executives and proprietors, but also private meetings as well. So it was even more embarrassing for Cameron when Rupert Murdoch, facing his own grilling by British lawmakers, said he was invited to the Prime Minister's home at Number 10 Downing Street after last year's election as a thank you for his support, but told to arrive in secret. Why did you enter the back door at number 10 uh, when you visited the Prime Minister following the last general election? Because I was asked to. Why would that be? To avoid photographers in the front. I imagine, I don't know, I was asked, I just did what I was told. Cameron has invited Murdoch executives to his home and official country residence 26 times in just over a year, including Murdoch's son, James, and the former CEO, Rebecca Brooks, who was arrested on the weekend. She and Cameron are neighbours who travel in the same circles. Today, he was forced to deny he'd ever invited her for a sleepover. I've never held a slumber party or seen her in her pajamas. <laughs> Cameron uh, was bloodied, shall we say, in Parliament today, but not broken. However, this thing is far from over. His enemies expect more damaging allegations to surface when the judicial-led inquiry into phone hacking gets underway. Russ? Elizabeth Palmer in London. Thank you.